Before the two of them arrived here, they only had each other. They were truly alone in this world. They were found walking hand in hand near the border of Czechoslovakia. Just the two of them, shivering all alone in the cold. I heard that the conditions in the orphanages in East Germany were pretty terrible. Not all orphanages were like 511 Kinderheim. Huh? Inga, dear, the bathroom is the other way. Down the hall, okay? <laughs> it's all right, it's all right. There's nothing to be afraid of. Now you can go to the bathroom by yourself, can't you? <laughs> These poor children have never really felt the love of a parent. In order to develop as a person, the only thing you need is love. The orphanages of the East Side were truly horrible places for the children to grow up in. Everything was so impersonal. Even this place was only known by the number 47. You'd better believe we did everything we could do within our power so that we wouldn't be controlled by the government. We weren't going to be another 511 Kinderheim. It was a special orphanage controlled by the Ministry of Welfare and the Ministry of the Interior. Do you know what that means? Uh, no. The reality was, it was the Ministry of the Interior's pet project. East Germany was using that place for experimentation. On the children. Children into perfect soldiers. Mental reconstruction. Twisting their minds for science. They made the children form factions to observe the aggression, the fighting, and the hate that resulted. It was an experiment to claw every last bit of compassion out of those children and see what remained. Can you imagine what kind of adults those children grew up to be? And now the problem is there's no way to prove that anything like that ever went on. Any type of data or secret records, all those documents were burned before the wall fell. Everyone who had anything at all to do with the project fled the country. However, I've heard rumors of someone who remained. He managed to clean his records. He stayed even though he was the last person in the world who deserved a second chance. He was the man who was in charge of overseeing the abomination that was 511 Kinderheim. And even though he was actually a pediatric psychiatrist closely affiliated with the Ministry of the Interior Police, the man's real title was that of a district official with the Ministry of Welfare. A district official? With the Ministry of Welfare? <laughs> Inga, are you all done in the bathroom? Mm -hmm. Sweet dreams, honey. Mm -hmm. All right? Good night. Good night. They were careful to cover everything up. Especially after that incident. Incident? Tell me. I need to know what exactly happened at 511 Kinderheim. I've said too much already. Such horrible memories. But I have to know. You must tell me what happened there, please! Where's my soccer ball? Huh? Where is it? Do you know where my soccer ball went to? Oh! Here you go. I have it right here. <sighs> But you gotta hold off on soccer until your wounds heal, all right? That man who brought you in earlier said he was going to pick you up soon. You just get some rest until then, okay? I don't know what really happened there. No one does. The East German government at the time placed a strict gag order on the event. It all began with the mysterious death of the director of 511 Kinderheim. 
Soon after, there was a power struggle among the instructors there as to who would succeed him. The place was thrown into anarchy. It was utter chaos. They couldn't even control the children. It was every man for himself. It's a miracle Johan made it out of there alive. Then what? What exactly happened at 511 Kinderheim? Everybody there died. What? All of the instructors and every last orphan except Johan. Those people massacred each other. <sighs> The world's not a dark place, that's a lie. Tomorrow will be a good day. I promise. Dieter? <clears throat> Time to gather up your things, honey. <laughs> not to let Dieter leave with anyone until I came back, didn't I? But all I did was... That person was the child's foster father. And let me tell you, he was very much a gentleman. Unlike you, obviously. Uh, look, I'm sorry, but that man... I wouldn't worry. That boy seemed very happy to be going with him. <laughs> Hartmann's library. These photos were taken at different times, but they were all shot at the same location. So what am I looking at? <laughs> Johan. Who's the man in the photo next to him? That's it. Every single one of these photographs was taken at 511 Kinderheim. And it looks like they were taken over ten years ago. All of the instructors and every last orphan except Johan. Those people massacred each other. Dieter. Could he be another?
Just hold on, Dieter. I'm coming. <sighs> this child is blind to what I show him. Hartmann! He can't see it. He can't even comprehend what Johann saw. He's not like him. It's no good. It has failed again. This boy is no Johann. <laughs> Every single one of them died here. Did you know that? Ten years ago, the instructors and the orphans, all 50 people died. Johann sat here, just watching it all happen. He just sat here and watched everything. <laughs> he didn't lift a finger. He just watched. I had to know his secret. So I asked Johann what he'd done. And this was how he answered. He dropped a piece of oil-soaked cloth into the fire, like this. Do you get it? Do you know what he meant by that? I simply added a bit of fuel to the hatred born when people come together. It was easy. That's what he told me. Only ten years old and he said that. And he did it with almost no effort at all. He was able to make fifty people kill each other without even moving a finger. It was you. It was you and your damned experiments that twisted Johan into what he is! So you think it was us? I'm sorry. It wasn't us at all. We didn't make him that way. <sighs> it's true that 511 Kinderheim was an experimental project, specifically created to transform orphans into perfect soldiers. Thinking back on it now, it really was only a little experiment. As for Johan, He's no soldier. Not at all. He was better. He was a natural-born leader of men. Someone who was meant to stand at the very top of the world. There's no way we could have ever created such a work of art. He was beyond human from the beginning. A veritable monster. Johann made a prediction. He predicted that mankind would end up hating itself into oblivion. And what do you think Johann's goal was? Do you want to know what he told me? He said he wanted to be the last person left in this world. He did. My poor Dieter. The future is dark. You must try harder to become more like Johan. It's a pity. Why are you such a failure? Why can't you be more like Johan? <laughs> Tell me why! Drop the gun or I'll shoot! Don't you lay a finger on him, Hartmann! Get out of here. This is our problem. It's none of your business. Just leave! Dieter! Come down from there! Sorry, Dr. Tenma. That's right. You were wanting to know more about Johan. What were you planning to do once you knew more? When you find Johan, are you going to try and kill him? That will be impossible. <laughs> Don't look so mad. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. 
But in exchange, once you hear it, you must leave immediately and never come back. You should search out a General Wolf. He's the one who first discovered Johan and his abilities. I'm sure he's still alive somewhere. So is he the man in the photograph? The one in your study? He's General Wolf, the man standing next to Johan? He's the one who brought Johan to us. He should be able to tell you something. Now, get going. Dieter! You can come with me or stay here, but you have to decide for yourself. There's nothing to worry about. If Hartmann does anything to try and stop you, I'll shoot him! <laughs> Dieter, listen to me. The choice is your own. Nobody else can make it for you. <laughs> Go ahead, tell the doctor. There's no way you'd leave me. Now would you? You can't live without me. Because you're my child, Dieter. Now you see how it is, Dr. Tenma. You can leave. It's all right. It's okay. That's good. Nice and slow. Dieter! Come back here, my dear little Dieter! Dieter! Do you really think you can live without me? No, Dieter! Make a move and I'll shoot, Hartmann! I love you so much, Dieter! Dieter! The world is dark! The future is bleak, Dieter! It's not true, Tenma told me. Tomorrow will be a good day. Dieter, he's wrong! Be brave, Dieter. Don't be afraid. Get on the bus here and take it to Cunin Street. You got that? The orphanage is there by the bus stop. When you get there, I want you to give this letter to Elna Tice. She runs the orphanage. I know she may look scary, but she's a nice lady. Be a good boy, okay? I can't stay in this town anymore. So I guess this is goodbye. The bus will be along in a few minutes. Take care, Dieter. Keep up the soccer practice. I'm sorry, you can't come with me. Here. Dieter, I'm telling you, don't come with me. I'm serious, okay? You can't come with me, Dieter. <laughs> <laughs> 